Hello everyone and welcome to cichlidspecies.com. Today I would like to take this opportunity and talk to you about aquarium water tests and a product that I've been using for quite a long time and it's really come in handy being really fast and versatile. You may have experienced this when going to your local aquarium shop and seeing that there are hundreds of different choices when it comes to water tests for aquariums. It can all be a bit overwhelming at first. So this is why I chose to select a different product than each of these individual tests. This new product is called JBL ProScan. The reason why I love it so much is that it's tied to an application. Being tied to that application means that you can now save your data on the cloud and have access to it at any given time. In this regard, JBL ProScan is one of those small but very useful instruments to have in your aquarium arsenal. So let's see what does this small box contain. Well, at first glance, there are only a few items in it. There's a tube. The tube itself houses 24 strips that can be used for doing water tests. Those strips have each on them a small square with an appropriate substance that will change when in contact with water. Meaning that when you dip this strip in the water for more than three seconds, each of those small squares will change its color. After that, you'll need to apply it right on top on the template that you have and thus you'll have your different measurements. This is also tied to the application itself and I'll show you how. The ProScan template that we'll use later on and there's also a book. This of course is tied with your Android or iOS device with an appropriate app. Once you have your QR code application installed, you just need to open it and scan the QR code you found on the pamphlet on the first page. That will send you to the JBL ProScan official application. Once you install that, you can start doing water tests on your aquarium. Let's see how we can do that. First of all, you will need to find the app, open it, and use your credential to make an account. If you go to Extras and Profile, you will find that a username and password. Once you register and have a username and password, it is very useful for you because you can now save your tests. The main aspects of the application are quite easy. There's my analysis and quick scans. You want to go to my analysis and there you can create your own aquarium. As you can see here, I just pushed on the plus button, added a name, added a picture, and then I can use those as my reference for all my tests that I'm gonna do there some pre-made aquariums my Malawi 800 liters and my Malawi 1000 liters so I'm just gonna delete this one when you want to view your information and past analysis you just select an aquarium that you have there and you can select the middle icon there by doing so you will go and see a full histograph of your data and each analysis that you took. This is really nicely made so that you can see at a glance what you need to do with your aquarium. For example, if I want to see nitrates, I just hit more and then I'm taken to the web interface where I can see all of my analysis in time and how they affected my aquarium. This is really 
in handy if you want to do changes to your water and you don't know exactly where the problem is. If you want to do new tests, you just simply select your aquarium and hit continue. You will be greeted a message on how to use this uh, JBL ProScan strip. You just simply dip it in the aquarium for 2-3 seconds, shake the remaining water off and then position on the strip that you have. If I hit the start button, you'll see that there is a counter starting down. Okay, so now that we have our application, we just need to take one strip, press the start button and the countdown will begin. We just dip this strip in the water for three seconds, one, two, three, and then we shake off any excess water. The next step is to get the pro scan table and align it correctly. Once you have aligned it correctly, you just need to go into a place where there's a lot of natural light in order to have the colors as accurate as possible and we'll take the reading with the phone. We still have 20 seconds to go and then we can take the reading. Very important to use natural light because that will give you the most accurate results when using your camera to record the test. The more natural light there is, the more natural the colors will be, thus the test will be more accurate. When the countdown finishes, you will just need to align the camera with the template and the application itself will read all the values like you see here. Let's see how my aquarium is doing. As you can see here in the application, I can hit details and it will expand each and every value and give me a recommendation based on what the tests were actually. So in my night rate, it seems that I'm staying quite well within the normal range. But if I want to change that value and lower it, I would need something like JBL Pro Biotope to add to my aquarium in order to make this value a bit lower. There are also other alternatives that I'll talk to you in the next videos on. Okay, let's see what else have I have here. Nitrate is zero, which is really good because that value needs to be zero always. And let's go to the other values. So it seems that I need a little more hardness. In my uh, aquarium, I have African cichlids which like a really hard water. It's really hard for me to get that because I live in an area where water is very soft so I always need to use products like JBL Aquador. One more aspect of my aquarium is that I need a pH of a value over 8 and this is really hard for me to attain also. Having mountain water which is softer I need to use products like JBL pH plus or use my home use methods to increase the pH, pH almost each day. And of course the final value is carbon dioxide which is too low for my aquarium but I don't actually need this because I have African cichlids. Once you've finished with all the tests you can simply pack this one and that's about it. It's really really easy to use and you can save your results and once you save those results they'll always be available for you to look back on them. This is really handy because it creates a timeline for your aquarium and you can see how well it performed and when you need to do water changes and other information like this one which is really valuable for a healthy and normal aquarium. All in all, I really recommend this uh, product because it's very, very simple to use and it gives quite a lot of value for the time that you invest in it. Your fish will always be happy if you follow the guidelines.
of course you can always pick and uh, select products that are specifically detailed for each test those are more time consuming but they will give you better results and more accurate results but for someone like me that i don't have much time to invest each day to do these tests i really like the possibility of just taking out a strip taking out my phone and in 60 seconds i have the results and i can measure the results with past tests that i have done another really good thing about this is that uh, you can actually find uh, a normal replacement uh, strips for this kit you don't need to buy always the kit with the template so this is really nice to have all in all i really hope everyone enjoyed this movie and everyone learned something new if you have your own opinion just please tell me in the comments below and i'll try to reply as fast as possible until then, see you next time guys and thank you very much for your support.